What up guys, it's your boy Sorrow and today we're going to do a short video talking about frames per second and why it means so much to people, especially people that play games all the time, such as myself. So most trailers that come out, a lot of people say, please let this game be 60 frames per second. Let it be 1080p, 60 frames per second. If it's not 60 frames per second, I am not buying it. That's what most people say. But on the flip side, you have people say, you can't see a difference between 30 frames and 60 frames per second. Why would you invest in 60 frames per second? It's not worth the money. And stay at 30 frames per second to give a better looking game. Now, I will tell you the quite difference between the two, to be honest with you. And I'll show like a kind of video comparison as well but when it comes to 60 frames per second i will disclose this it costs a lot more money to invest into something like that think about it when you Playing a game and processing a game, you got to worry about the physics, the shadowing, the lighting, everything that goes on actually when an explosion happens, the shadowing effect, the lighting effect, when somebody is shooting at you, the sparks that bounce off the car, those little lights, everything's in code, right? So imagine you doing all that and then lock at that at 60 frames per second. So that actually costs a lot more money to gaming industries to do such a thing. But is it worth it? It most likely is. It makes your gameplay experience more lifelike and less jaggy. Now, this is what I mean. People think 60 frames per second make a game fluid. It doesn't make a game fluid. It combines all the frames together, which make it more of a smooth effect. It makes it not jaggy at all. So what 60 frames does is it puts basically, it doubles the frames with 30, 30 frames in a second. So with 30 frames, imagine if you have these eyeglasses right here, frame 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 every second right you see those little fillings that you're missing that's the jagged effect that it happened to your eyes you might not notice it but the moment you start playing on 60 frames and go back to 30 frames for prime example with the last of us you will feel the difference you will feel the jaggedness effect you when you swing you feel like you're kind of stuttering a little bit and that's the main difference between the two now there is a downside to 60 frames per second most companies that do invest into doing something like that actually takes a hit when it comes graphically that mean you might have to pull down the graphics a little bit it can't be as sharp it can't be as detailed because you want to lock these frames at 60 frames and the most things people hate besides 30 frames is something with inconsistent frames you're being at 60 then you're at 40 then you're at 25 that is very annoying when you're playing a game and you can feel the effects a lot so i hope this video was kind of actually informational for you when it comes to 60 frames is it worth it it is but companies waste a lot more money into putting in something like that especially if it's not a popular game imagine you're investing about four million dollars into their game and it only sell about seven hundred thousand copies you did all that work and didn't really get nowhere so that is my opinion by the guys click the link below if you're still like i won't see a difference to actually see comparisons of side by side games at 60 frames versus 30 frames per second i hope you guys did enjoy this video please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and i'm out peace